In today's video I'll show you how to change the colors on a template in Excite Pro. What I have opened up here is a sales letter template. It's the gray gradient with a highlighted area here and lifted corners and a highlighted area in the footer. The way this template is made up is uh, there's images. We we'll go to the page layout tab and the header panel. We have a header image up here. So you can, if I remove it, you can see that it's gone up there. And also there's one for the left panel, for the right panel, and the footer, which is, starts about right here and goes all the way down with the lifted corners and the highlight. And there's one last image, which is the page, which is the page margin uh, background image. And what that is, is the, the dark gray here turning into the light gray down here. So we have five images that we need to work with on this template. Other templates may have more or less. So I'm going to head over to the other tab, go to the resource manager, and here are the five images. I'm going to right click, copy locally, and save them to my desktop in a folder. Okay, now that they're saved to my desktop, I'm going to go online. I usually change colors like this in Photoshop, but since a lot of people don't have Photoshop, I looked online for something that everybody can have access to, and I found Pixlr.com. It's P-I-X-L-R.com, and it uh, seems pretty good. So I'm going to go there. This is what it looks like, and um, we want to open images from our computer. So I'll open the header image. And now to change the colors, what I'm going to do is go to the adjustment in the menu here, click on that and go down to color balance. So now in the color balance adjustments here, we can play with these until we get a color that we like or that sets you know, maybe it matches our logo or or the, the color we want, the theme we want. So you can just pull these, drag them to where you want. So maybe we want the blue like that. So when you're once you're happy with your settings, make sure you write down the numbers for the red, the green, and the blue. And we can use those on the other images for the template. So once you're happy with what colors you have up there, hit OK. And you may have noticed that the uh, the top of the white panel that is going to be where the text and, and images and stuff go for the actual page is now turned to a light color blue. What we can do there is use the paint bucket tool, select white, hit OK, and turn it back white. Now go to the next image, open image, this time it's the footer. We'll go back to adjustment and color balance. And we'll input what we had before, which was minus 56, minus 44, and 42. Click OK. Now, again, with a paint bucket, we want to turn this white. So there's the header and the footer. And I'll do the same for the left, the right, and the page margin image. OK, I've saved all of the images to my desktop. And now I'm going to add them back into Excite Pro via the Resource Manager. So again, on the other tab, Resource Manager, click on Add. And I've renamed them. Uh, I originally had like background, and I have background two, footer two, header two, left panel two, and right panel two. Click on open. Add the images. Now they're all in here. Hit close and go back to the page layout tab. So now what I'm going to do is swap out the images for header 
goes to header two. See now it's got the, the blue back here. Left panel goes to left panel two. That's got the blue coming down. Right panel goes to right panel two. It's got the blue coming down there. Go down to the footer. Go to footer two. Now you can see we have the footer down here. And next is the page margins. So we had background and I'm going to change it to background two. So there you go. So we've changed from the from the gray and the gradient up here to the with the highlight to now we have a dark blue to light blue with the highlight, lifted corners and a highlight. There you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.